Hey guys, and welcome back to TNT. My name is Tommy, and today I'm starting the game Erica. And I don't know much about the story part of this game, but I do know that it's a choice game. And I am not... Aha, I'm not playing via smartphone, I'm playing via controller. It's recommended to play with smartphone, but I am being rebel and not following instructions. The game is short. I believe what I read was two hours long, but again, don't know anything about the story. And it's also kind of a, ooh, that's cool. Okay, interesting. I think it's a drama, mystery type game based on the lighting and the, aha. I really can't finish sentences during these things, can I? Aha, interesting. Mm, okay. What am I looking for? Just that? Okay. I have to get a grip on the controls. Your name. You shouldn't play with it. It's dangerous. It's hookah. Okay. Are you ready? Mummy and I met many, many years ago in a place called Delphi House. She was a nurse. And I was a doctor. At night, we tell each other stories. She'd tell me about the future. Wonderful things. Things only she could see. I'd tell her about the past. About a great priestess, marked with a butterfly, who could stare into the fire and see the future. I used to tell her she was magic, just like the priestess. I think you're magic, too. But you're gonna have to prove it. Pick a photograph. Pick your favorite. Yep, that one. For sure. Uh, Dad, I'm hallucinating. No. Close <laughs> your eyes. Focus your mind and conjure the power of the ancient priestess. But how? Now find your room again. Oh, See interesting. If you can guess where your favorite is. Mm hmm. Gonna guess the middle. Yep. Though I wonder if there's actually See, a wrong magic. answer. She'll always be with you. Remember that. Even though she isn't here, she's still a part of you. Oh, interesting. If you could stare into the fire and see the future, what do you think you'd see? Suddenly, she doesn't want this gift of foresight. <sighs> okay. Not what I was expecting.
female. So something you guys should know about me is that I absolutely adore stories that involve supernatural powers or supernatural abilities. Love them. Absolutely adore them. So whether or not this chick actually is blessed with some sort of foresight or whatever, it doesn't really matter. I love the concept of exploring the possibility of such a thing. Hi. <laughs> That's me. I look like Daenerys Targaryen. But I'm not. <laughs> and by that I mean Amelia Clark. Let go, face it, justify, reassure. Mm, interesting. Face it. It was all your fault. No. That's not what I meant. I, <clears throat> I feel lied to. Oops. Cool, man. How is your night going? Mine's great. Oh no, a furry. Oh man, bro. Who you? Are you roommate or like home invade invasion? Uh, secure. <laughs> um, we're a helpful type. Are you okay? <sighs> so far, I've loved. Oh, that's so cool. And so the choice of picture that I chose fits in the frame. I love how the choices are not so like blatant, but they're small choices that can mean so many other things. Like me locking the door could lead to her having a habit of locking the door later on. Torn page. The eye. Are you an artist then? That's grand of you. I'm not an artist, but I'll draw for you because it's a video game. <laughs> this is kind of sketchy, you might say. <laughs> Get it? Hmm. Yeah, I imagine that symbol would stick with you pretty much forever. Almost like a spider, but not quite. Lawyer murdered. Fragile. This game got quite a bit of uh, recognition because of... Is that blood on the bottom? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, work. Work with me here. Oh, that's a hand. Delicious. Delicious. Yay. So glad to see that. Okay. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> Miss Mason? Yes? I'm Sergeant Blake. Hi, Blake. The lead investigator on this case. You are very obviously the romantic interest. Because you're handsome. Can I see that? No, you may not. I'm guarded. I promise I'll give it back. I'm very guarded. Okay, you can you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> you draw this a lot. Confession. It's Greek, isn't it? The Delphic Epsilon. Oh. Same as with your father. I don't know that. It was on the battalion too. The hand belonged to a Cal Jahar. He worked at Delphi House. I believe he visited there with your father. 
Dang. Links to case relevance. My dad worked there. Yes, he was one of its founders. Along with a man called Lucian Flowers. Hm. Mr. Flowers might be a target too. Look, we're keeping watch over at Delphi House. Protection detail. I'll be leading the investigation from there. Right now, it's the safest place for you too. At Delphi House? The place where the guy was murdered? Or not necessarily where he was murdered, but where he worked. Yeah. I guess anywhere is safer than her own place where somebody obviously knows she lives there and she's sent, being sent a <laughs> cut off hand. Not sure I would recommend her going to Delphi House, but whatever. I'm not a cop. I'm not a detective. I don't know everything. I'm just a gamer and a father and a friend and a lover, not a fighter. Oh, interesting. Apparently I'm a revealer too. <laughs> Revealio. Old doors, new keypad. Touch of history with some modern security. Very atmospheric, very good sound work so far. They're probably out for a smoke. <laughs> Wait here. I'll go check. I wonder if you'd actually have done that if I only tapped once. Ding. Ding, ding. Okay, stop. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, I know those guys. Hmm. Mm hmm. Delphi House. Oh, is that her mom? Uh, maybe not. Actually, is that the mom? Still probably not. Her eyes are watery. Ooh. What the heck? I seriously had no idea that there was any sort of, like, occult following or, like, fanaticism with this. Uh... I don't know why. I'm, le I'm leaning towards the phone, even though I don't work here, clearly. who's killing people all around Erica is trying to guide her to an answer. But not telling her the answer. I don't know about you. That seems manipulative. So do I go to the cop or do I go on my own? I'm a good little boy. <laughs> Who would go tell the investigator? Oh, 
pretty, Foxy. Hey, sweetheart. Erica. What are you hey, doing? I told you to wait. Ask her on sorry phone call. That was a phone call. It was a woman. She knew who I was, she said. She said. Inside. Now. I need to find out where that call came from. Do whatever it takes. That's a very dramatic overused line. Get over the phone. Yeah, go. And you? I'm all right to see your identification. No ID staying a here. Facility here. You can't just walk in. I don't have ID. Everyone has ID. Look, I'll call you back. Yeah. I'm Sergeant Blake. I called this afternoon. I'm supposed to meet a Dr. Ballard. I can only apologize. We're all a bit nervous here. Kate Blanchett? Sergeant Blake, I'm, I'm kidding. Rosa Ballard. <laughs> I I'm suppose kidding. you already know Chief Inspector. Doctor, thank you. Would you mind taking Erica up to her room? I'm afraid I need to speak to the Chief Inspector. There's been a development. There's been a development of massive proportions. Such massive developments. Proportion I maximum. You don't remember me. I worked with your father. Of course I you did. I used to look after you when you were little. You knew my parents. Of course. Your dad taught me everything I know. And your mum, she was incredible. Brilliant nurse. So smart. It's funny. Anyway, this is you. You might recognize it. She's the murderer. <laughs> oh no, we're back in layers of fear. <laughs> Mr. Steinbeck, the night manager, will be downstairs if you need anything. But the veil on the mirror just reminded me of layers of fear. <laughs> oh no. They're hiding stuff with tapestries. We're back in it. <laughs> you can never escape layers of fear. Shwom, whom, whom. Some of them are like swish and flick movements. Some of them are like elongated. Eh, eh. What's that one? KSSO. Is one record? For Delphi? Delphi? Why am I saying Delphi? Delphi. As in the Oracle of Delphi. Is this the same music that played during the beginning? Are you having a flashback? Oh, darling, are you getting emotional now? Uh, <laughs> I 
I'm not a fan of dolls. <laughs> Something about the eyes. Interesting box, though. I will say that. Help me, I'm trapped in a castle. I'm free. <laughs> Go on. I will show you the dark mark. She's just like you. Which means you will soon become a doll at some point in your life. That is the destiny for all the butterfly marsh children. This is you, Erica. All of you become dolls. That is the secret he died for. That is your fate. Oh, he survived. That's good. Yeah, it seems unnecessary for the woman to come in to shoot the dad if he was already dead from his cut injuries. So maybe he was actually alive at that moment and she came in to finish the job. It seems all very unnecessary. Very vague and unclear. And the mom rats out grave. Hmm. Is that the sh in the shape of a butterfly? Back. Oh. God, we are back in layers of fear. Stop it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the carpet. He's clean. All right, darling. Um, I'll go there. <laughs> yeah. All right then. Kirsty. Yeah. Kirsty, I said you can help, but I need to be with you, okay? We talked about this. No cleaning without supervision. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say like, wow, what a rude person, but now I'm okay. <laughs> Bit of clarity. We're good now. What? Ask for one, confront, back off. Can I have one? No. <laughs> hey, Deathwatch. Over here. Oh, she looks really familiar. Don't mind her, she's got emotional problems. Hurry up and die, Hannah. What are you playing? This. Aria Fidelphi by, um... Some guy. Don't know. I've never heard of him. Here, take a seat, let me show you something. This is called music therapy. <laughs> See this bit? It's simple. Four notes. We're gonna have to play music. I'll do the rest. No, no, no. 
no, don't no, know. Don't you, you dare. It's not loud. Kirsty, no, no, Kirsty, no, no, calm no, no, down. No, no, no. Calm no. down. Get off. No. Get off. Get off. Mm -hmm. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. She didn't do anything. I'm gone. I'm gone. She didn't mean to. She was trying to help. Sergeant Blake's here. Needed in the main office. Okay. Right. Feel good about that one. Feel good about that. Hi. My God. Erica Mason. You look just like your mother. She looks just like Amelia Clark. <laughs> Last time we met, you could barely see over the desk. I'm Lucien Flowers. Portrait, I sorry. set this place up with your father. I uh, recognize you from your portrait in the hall. Man, the... Yeah, it's quite a statement. If it wasn't for your father, I'd have it replaced. <laughs> the room is very okay. awkwardly set up. I know the old place can take a bit of getting used to. Drama, phone call. Yeah. Do they know anything more about the phone call? I'm not sure, but... Sergeant Blake will be joining us in a moment. He should know. I know it's very difficult for you to be here. And it's not much, but I brought you something. It was hmm. your father's. Your mother gave it to him on their wedding day. Oh, the lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I just kept hold of it. Hey. Sorry about that. We're chasing the phone company, but there's still no news on last night's call. Convenient delay for a story Erica, plot. It's extremely likely whoever killed your father killed Mr. Joha. There may be some other victims as well that we don't know about. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Honestly, we don't have much to go on. But Mr. Flowers has a suggestion. It might help you remember the face of your father's killer. Okay. <laughs> Let's be unsure. What are you asking? It's like therapy. Uh -huh. It was developed by your father. It's completely painless. Perfectly safe. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. What good acting. Look at her go. The images wow. you're going to see are designed to relax you and open up your mind. Your father designed regression therapy. Is this EMDR? Our patients face their trauma. The first one is just a test. When you see it, just say whatever comes into your head. Oh, I love this. It's a bit of Rorschach. <laughs> Sky. Sky. <laughs> Okay, great. <laughs> if you remember anything important, well done. Just that is a sky. <laughs> I know revisiting trauma can be difficult, but you're perfectly safe. Let's begin. Flowers, perfume, nature, nature, faith, cult, peace, faith. That's a goat. Uh, farm. Slaughter. Wow. Fire. Warmth. Danger. Danger. Ugh. Mask. Face. Uh, Gold. sure. It's getting fast. Kill. It's getting really fast. Oh, I didn't even have time for that. It's too fast. Oh. Oh, darling. 
This is like getting close to Black Mirror stuff. Yeah, Tony Stark said the same, but it was actually sweet then. Okay. That's not helping me, Dad. Am I the killer? That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's effing cruel. It's effing cruel. You were drawing. No, you were drawing the whole time. Okay. Not aware of any therapy that actually does that. There is some types of therapy that use Rorschach tests and single word symmetry to, or not symmetry, symbolism and like images and stuff like that to try to bring back repressed memories. That is a thing but I've never seen it done with like rapid fire movement and with drawing. That's something I've never seen before. <laughs> so disturbing. Ugh. Yeah, it's the mom. For sure it's the mom. Mom never died. Mom killed the husband. Yep. Why did you draw her, Erica? Because it was the mom. Because it was the mom. Because it was the mom. That's my. Uh, Your mother oh. told me this place was her <laughs> okay. whole life. We. <laughs> she worked here. Fell in love here. Had you here. Later, she died here. It's an impressive jacket. <laughs> Random little note from Tommy. <laughs> what a nice jacket. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit more, and then we're going to drop it for today. It's incredibly brave. It's not surprising. Yeah. There's more to it than that, though, isn't there? It's a process, Erica. It takes time. Don't blame yourself. I want to try again. Oh. You need to rest. Clear your mind. You can try again another time. Come on. The thing with you therapies like that, though, is that he's totally right. That you actually do Please. have to step away from that type of therapy, or else you're going to immediately start creating a story in your head instantly. If you start, if you sit back in that chair and start receiving even random images again, you're going to start to get confirmation bias where you're going to create a story based on your most previous instance in the chair. So you actually need to take a gap, a space of time away so that you don't have that bias nearly as loud in your head. Anyway, I'm actually going to stop here. This will be part one. Um, this game is relatively short from what I could find, and we will move on to part two of this mystery and I'm really enjoying this so I hope you are too I will see you in the next part wash your hands wear your mask be good to each other sweet treat each other kindly I can talk and I hope you have a great day bye bye